I have a pretty quick video to show you guys today and it's kind of a PSA for anybody who uses the Facebook app on their smartphone. Turns out there's been a setting deep within the menus that allows Facebook to track you even when you're not using the Facebook app. So I'm gonna show you how to get to that setting today and turn it off. While we're in the menus, I'll show you a few other things so that you can have extra security and privacy. So with that being said, let's start the video. Hope you enjoy. So during this process, I'm gonna be using my Android phone, but it's going to be the same for all phones. So if you have an iPhone, it's the same process, so don't worry about that. So first things first, just launch your Facebook app and you should already be signed into your account. I made a dummy account for the purpose of this video so I don't have to block out any information, but your app should look like this. And in the top right corner, you have the three horizontal line button. You're gonna go ahead and press that. Through here, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and there's an options called settings and privacy. And and you get a few more options by clicking that. So you're gonna click settings. And from here, you'll have a lot more options. You can scroll down and we're gonna go through and look for this section here that says your Facebook information and an option underneath that says off Facebook activity. So click that. And for me, when I did this with my actual account, I had a bunch of apps listed here at the top that I had no idea that Facebook was tracking and you'll probably see the same thing. So if you wanna get rid of all that data that Facebook has and the storing, there's an option here to delete all of the off Facebook activity history. So you can go ahead and do that here but there's still no option to turn it off. You still have to go into the more options setting right here, and then you'll get a pop-up at the bottom, and then you could hit manage future activity, and you still don't have an option to turn it off. So you're gonna click manage future activity again at the bottom, and then you finally have the switch that you can turn off. If it's blue and it's to the right, that means it's turned on. So you can click it and you'll get a little pop-up like this where you can click turn off. So it should turn gray, and then you're good to go. So as you can see, it was pretty hidden within the menu. And for any average user of Facebook, there's no way they're gonna find that or even go looking for that. I personally think that these type of options should be like front and center for everybody to decide whether they wanna keep on or off. And the fact that I have to dig through the menus to find it is kind of suspicious to me. So anyway, once you do that, you can go ahead and click back and just go back all the way to this page here. These are just some extra things I wanted to toss into this video to help you guys out. So there's a section here called security and login if you click that there's some very important information here as you can see i'm gonna have to block this out but it shows you what devices that i have that are logged into this account and also the location of those devices so this is a good way of seeing if there's any device that has access to your facebook account that isn't yours you have the option to click see all and that way you'll have a whole list of all the different devices from this section there's a button that says log out of all sessions and if you see any suspicious activity, I recommend doing that. It'll log you out everywhere. And then you'll just have to log into the device that you actually want to use and obviously change your password if you are concerned that somebody else used your account. And if you want to know how to change your password while you're at it, it's right in that same menu. Um, you can see right here, change password. So a few other things, if you scroll down, there's a section here called privacy. There's an option here that says face recognition. If you don't want that type of data stored on Facebook, you can click on that and turn that on off through here and then I'm gonna go back and click privacy settings and this is just always good to review and make sure that you have it set to the way you want it so you'll see you have options like who can see your future posts, um, limit who can see past posts, who can see the people pages and lists that you follow, who can see your stories, all these options here. I recommend just going through these and setting them to the way you want it. So yeah, I just wanted to share this stuff with you guys. I know a lot of people use Facebook and a lot of people don't know about this stuff. So I thought I would teach you about it. Feel free to share this video with any of your friends or family members that you think might have use for this information. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Click like if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.